Welcome to another video on the Employee Leave Manager Excel template. In this video, we are going to learn about the monthly team dashboard present in the Excel template. In the previous videos, we covered the settings, data entry, and also the balance report, daily report, and the employee report. I will put the links to those videos in the video description below. But in this video, we're going to focus on the monthly team dashboard. So the monthly team dashboard, the purpose of this dashboard is to provide to you an overview of the leave that is planned by your employees in your organization for a specific month. Let's say, for example, if I choose um, July and this is going to be 2019 July and the template will now populate the entries that the employees have taken uh, as leave entries for the month of July. And you'll see that there are um, the, there's an employee name and then the next option you have is you can choose which um, extra column that you want to display. So if I want to display location, I can then display location and now it'll tell me the location of the employee. So you can customize this column because this is the list of all columns available from the um, employee sheet. So the employee sheet has these columns. So including any custom column that you created, they will be available for you to choose from. Then we have the legend at the top, which shows the 12 possible leave types. Uh, we have only 10 entered in the data so far, but if you, you can have up to 12 and they will be displayed here with the different colors telling us what color is what leave type. We also have the holidays, weekends and other um, patterns to as a legend for what's in the calendar view here. So the calendar view is pretty straightforward. It'll show the, all the days in this month that we chose and the colors will be displayed on the specific uh, date when the employee is going to be on leave. So for example, this employee number 10 um, is actually going to be on leave from Jan um, July 1st to July 8th. And you see that the weekends are still shown in the weekend color and not in the uh, vacation. And that's because it doesn't count, um, the, the weekends don't count against the leave balance. And so the employee uh, will still be only taking three, five, six days of vacation. So you can see that the summary is shown six days of vacation for this employee in this month. Similarly, sick days are shown here. And then the this color indicates the um, paid leave option that the employee has taken. But then there is a sick day in between as well. So you can have all the employees all the leave types, everything visually shown in this dashboard. If the employee is taking a makeup day, you'll see that the minus one here. So basically this employee is going to work on a weekend and that's why it shows minus one. Employee 29 is working on this Sunday and you will see the that reflected here as minus one for personal because essentially the employee is making up for another personal day that he or she might have taken another day and now he or she is working on the weekend to make up for it. So that's the minus one. And um, then if the, if the employee is not employed, it'll be displayed. So for example, if I wanna go back to employee, uh, let me go back to January. So employee one was not employed in the first part of this and that's why it shows up as not employed. And then the employee became employed on January 5th, 15th. And then similarly, the employee 16 um, left the company on 15th of January. And so showing up as not employed for the rest of the month. So if the employee is not employed, it will be displayed. If the employee is completely like not employed for the whole month, then you will not even see the, uh, the employee name listed here. For example, employee one is no longer listed because he or she was not even employed um, for the entire month of July and so will not be displayed. You can have a filter in this report to say, okay, I want to see all the um, employees in the sales department. So I type in sales and now I will only see the employees who are in the sales department. But if I change this to, for example, let me delete the sales because I wanna see all of them now. And 
you're not limited to only department. You can say, show me by location and show me, for example, the employees in Moscow. And I type in Moscow and only the employees from Moscow will now be displayed. So this is how you can customize this dashboard for a specific set of employees. Now let me see all the employees again and the template will show 100 employees at a time. And as I scroll down, I will still see 100 employees. And if I don't want, um, if I want to see um, the next 100 employees, then I can just change to page number two. Uh, I have only entered less than 100 employees in this data set, but if you, in case you enter more than 100, you will use the page number option to go to the next page of employees. On the top right, you'll see the number of holidays in this month, number of weekends in this month, and then the week, number of work days in this month. And um, what you see below here is the total leave taken by the employee, total work days for that employee. You will see that some employees have less than you know, 23 and that's because they've taken some leave. So the work days is nothing but the total number of um, total number of days after taking out the holidays and weekends. And then you also want to take away any, any leave days for the employee in order to calculate the number of days the employee worked in that month. So this is a very good view for uh, if you're planning capacity for a specific month, you can easily know which employees are going to be out and how many days are they going to be out in that month. And this will ensure you can plan your projects for the upcoming month by knowing which employees are be uh, available in how many days. Finally, this template, you can print this um, view uh, by going to the file print menu, and then you can just choose, for example, the page number one, page number two. Since I have a lot of employees entered, there are many pages, but essentially you can print all the employees and then also their summary, like when we talk about each employee, what's the total leave days taken. Um, so all of this can be printed in an exported as PDF as well by going to export, you can export it to PDF. So that covers the different features in this monthly team dashboard. If you have any questions about this, please post them in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you very much for watching.